So good morning everybody, welcome along and we are out with RB today riding this for Eclipse Motorcycles. This is the Aura 125, now this is the Euro 5 version. So starting from the near side of the bike, nice badge here with the Aura logo. You've got these fold out passenger pegs, a little bit easier for the rider or pillion passenger to put their feet. You've also got two positions so you can have your feet down here. They can also put your feet up in front if you so wished to do so. Now I am going to point this out. On the original Aura, the seat latch was a two-way switch. Now this one has individual switches, so just got the key in my pocket. You've got the one to find out where your bike is. You've got your headlamp flash, and then obviously the unlock the bike. That turns the ignition on. Seat just pops it up very, very easy now. Lots of storage under there. Not enough room for a helmet, but you can get all your gear under there, your chain, and a nice bang of the hand puts it down. Fuel flap under the front where you're locking fuel cap down here. And notice, E5 fuel people. Don't go putting E10 in these. So, as we say, Euro 5, stick to the E5 fuel. A lot of people have had issues with E10 fuel. Some bikes will take it, some bikes won't. Same as your cars. Going down the off side of the bike, nice little screen to the front. Nice high wide mirrors. We shall do them in a minute. And on the seat, you've obviously got that little back support there. Just to show you where the end of your rider seat is it's very very comfortable and once again your pillion peg to the rear and those twin shocks to the rear of the bike nice little aluminium swing arm on these as well now so very very well defined i do love these auras absolutely beautiful now if you are humming the ignition you've got to remember you get 10 seconds to get in and get that done if you don't get to your uh, key fob in time it does go out so very, very good idea. Got to have the key with you. Once you've fired the bike up, put the key away in your pocket, like I'm going to do so. Get my other glove on. Now, even with your gloves on, you can still operate all those buttons. Now, sitting on the bike, main stand, side stand, you've got hazard light switch, your run and your kill button, start a motor, and then off to the left-hand controls, you've got high beam, low beam. The pass light is now on the bottom, indicators and a horn absolutely perfect so great we're going to get this out on your display speed to the left your k's are on the outside miles on the inside rev counter big miles an hour in the center time temperature and then you've got your charge rate and your fuel tank and down the bottom your trip meter and your odor meter start it up on either one hold the brake give that start button a push and we're going to take it off now we're going to do a couple of different videos <clears throat> this one's going to be bits and pieces so we're going to cut in and out on this one we're going to crank up some mileage and the first one i want to start with is obviously how quick it gets to 45 so give it some beans and it does get it quite quick for a 125 so for the weight of the bike it does get there very very quick and obviously we are limited to 45 mile an hour brand new bike we have to run them in and as i say you're running in procedures and a lot of people are forgetting this first up to the first service maximum of 40 45 mile an hour run the bike in don't listen to all your friends that go oh no don't worry about it you don't need to run it in you can just go full throttle you've got to let these engines wear in on the brakes absolutely perfect and of course don't forget you've got that cbs system the combined brake system so front brake does your front brake only your rear brake will do a 70 to 30 or about two thirds to one third rear brake to front brake so we always say right control dry weather left control wet weather but then if you do need a little bit of extra braking come in on the front one but don't go grabbing handfuls of front brake in damp or wet conditions I'm going to wash that front end out so very very easy just to tuck your feet up now I've got my feet in the downwards position but I can get my feet spaced out in front push myself back into the seat and it's very comfortable in both of those positions so if you are a little bit longer in the leg you can obviously stick your feet up in front and we're going to do the hill climb to start with 
once we've done that I'm going to get some uh, dual carriageway mileage on do the boring bit for you and then we'll come back in when I get to go around town so what we're going to do we're going to get it up to about 42 I'm going to lock my wrist out or lock my hand out and try and hold it on that throttle position and see what I lose going up the hill so nice steady 42 43 holding the throttle in the same position now obviously this is the steepest hill in Milton Keynes and we're just going to see with my throttle held in the same position what I'm going to lose climbing the hill so it's dropping is dropping it down a little bit but you would expect that on a big hill climb so I've lost about two mile an hour still holding the same amount of revs and then we're down to about 39 so you are going to lose a little bit of speed on a big hill climb but then you've always got the option give it a little bit more beans and open your speed up again now obviously once the engines run in and it starts to obviously get a little bit looser you will be off the mark a little bit quicker we'll be able to maintain that good high top speed and most of the people that have got auras have never had an issue with them as long as they're maintained it's like any big bike or any cheap brand bike if you look after it treat it with some respect it's going to look after you now the mirrors on this very very wide and I've literally got I'd say about an eighth of my shoulder <laughs> compared to them cipher mirrors the other day with these I've got a perfect view of the road behind and obviously I've got my arms out and I can just about see a little bit of arm in about an eighth of the mirror there obviously you're going to get a different view from the camera but I've still got an ample view of that road behind so what we're going to do we're going to get the boring stuff out of the way now that was the hill climb we're going to get some dual carriageway mileage on and I shall cut back in when we come down the other side of here and I'll see you guys all in a few a little longer than a few minutes later so back off the dual carriageway we come and we are heading down the long fast road before we go back into town to do the urban bikes riding absolutely fine five and a bit miles on the bike all good happy happy days now obviously with these new auras Euro 5 E5 petrol and I'll keep banging on about the petrol until you know if E10 is any good for your bike stick to E5 stick to the good stuff that will treat your bike a little bit better and it's always worth paying a little bit extra for your fuel make sure you're using the premium stuff so if it's Shell V Power if it happens to be BP then use the ultimate if it is obviously your supermarket stick to the momentum or their prime fuel but I'd always say use a prime station like a BP Shell SO or Texaco nothing wrong with supermarket fuel if you get the good stuff but as we say we've had bikes in that have had issues with E10 fuel and issues where they filled up at the local supermarket so stick to the good stuff guys that's for riding though, nice steady 42 mile an hour she's doing ever so ever so well two ride tests as we do on every bike to make sure everything operates great all the levers are in the right place, mirrors are in the right place brakes are all good, indicators, lights and horn all work and with these auras it's got a nice little loud horn it's not overtly loud but it will do the job need to tighten that mirror up a little bit more just picked up on that let's give it a squeeze round and that is the idea of ride tests and PDIs is anything going to rattle loose on the PDI obviously he's tightened my mirror up but he's not tightened it up as much as I thought he would have he's just nipped it up slap on the wrist for him no coffee for him this morning but otherwise all good the engine sounds great and it has got that little bit of a throaty burble for a 125 scooter definitely does the job so obviously we're back down into town now 
Now today is the 15th. New bike being launched today and it should be up at the Lex Moto website. So if you fancy going across, having a look what that new bike is, I know there are a few more on the way. But obviously I am not allowed to divulge any Lex Moto information of what is coming out until the announced date. And I can't tell you because obviously this is a 845 ride and it's not being announced till 10 o'clock so I've got to be a good boy obviously this is going to go up after but it makes you just want to go and see what's on the Lex Motor website so I'm not telling you what it is you're going to have to wait go and have a look don't get any spoilers with me now obviously yesterday was Remembrance Sunday we had the ride out a lot of people done the uh, ROR Ring of Red we went out and had a, a little bit of that, done a super sausage and uh, had a little ride up to the local memorial and I made it by about 5 to 11. I was uh, cacking it thinking oh god I'm not going to be there I'm going to have to get off the bike at 11 o'clock and stop and I made it by 5 to 11 so I actually got to get to the memorial, get my helmet off, put it on the floor and uh, obviously do my two minutes for all of those that served and I do get a lot of people that are obviously military bikers that follow me and talking to military biker he's got a great video up go and go and watch military bikers latest video and you'll see what I mean about all the um, ex-servicemen that ride bikes a lot of us do big shout out to my mate Steph he's obviously another scaly back like me signals reg But thanks to military biker, veteran biker, all the boys out there, marine rider, hell's on two wheels, all of those guys are all ex-military, so uh, guys, thank you for your service, we appreciate what you've done, and uh, obviously those that never made it back, lest we forget. Enough on that subject, anyway. But if you are after an Aura 125, and I'm waffling on again, I'm going off track, if you're after one of these 125s, absolutely beautiful. They are a little bit more money than the Titans, so if you're looking for something a little bit more classy, a little bit sort of pricier, it's got a bit of refinement to it. The Aura does it every time. I still like my Titans, cheapest bike that's made by Lex Motor. Oh dear. Someone's uh, had a crunch. I am going to wait. Thank you very much. Fender bender. Could have moved the car. But obviously leaving it there until Uncle Plod uh, has a look at it. But if you're into a Lexmodo bike, lexmodo.co.uk, all the brands are on there. If you... Uh, and to live in the Buckinghamshire area, Eclipse Motorcycles, mk.co.uk. Go and check all those guys out. And the website is there. Telephone numbers at the bottom, 01908 643603. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. YouTube are now getting rid of the thumbs down button, but if you want to thumbs down it, that's up to you. Don't really care. You've watched the video then. Comments down the bottom. Don't forget in the description all the bikers that I follow and don't forget to hit the notifications bell. Smash the hell out of the notifications, tells you when the next one is coming up. And of course Master Venger is probably going to put his comment in, what are you doing? We're heading back to the garage for that cup of coffee. So uh, whatever you're doing this week, have a good one. Ride safe, be well, and from RB... It's a big goodbye from me.